Hey, James. Hey, Mike. Is uh, Sonny around? He's in, uh, he's in the office. We'll be back in a sec. Okay. Wedding present. Huh? But, <laughs> but the paper gave me away, huh? I can't believe it. It took forever. I mean, I was in Wyndham's for over an hour checking out China patterns. You bought them plates? No. No, no, not exactly. But I, mean, I even considered it. You know, I mean, it's funny the things you start you start feeling and, and doing at a time like this. I mean, all of a sudden, you're in the checkout line at the grocery store, you know, with your frozen dinner in one hand and your quarter milk in the other, and, and you're telling some stranger that your kid's about to get married. And then people, you know, people turn around, they look at you, and they, and they can see how blown away you are by the sheer weight of the years that went by. And, and they smile, and, and they congratulate you as, as if you'd done something wonderful. I don't know, maybe... Maybe you have, if, uh, if survival counts for anything. What do you think? Counts in my book, Mike. Yeah, there. You see? <laughs> what? what? Well, I've just never seen you act this way. That's yeah, all right. I, I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? But see, there's this part of me that, that... I don't know, I call it optimistic. I mean, I've heard other words for it, you know, like, like foolish, but... Anyway, this part of me has always believed that someday I would hit the jackpot. And I can't think of a better payoff than... from my life than to see my son finally happy. You know, and, and with a chance of, of, of having a few grandkids to, to spoil around. All right, all right, I'll shut up. I'll shut up before my face gets any redder, okay? <laughs> it's nice to see you happy, Mike. Hope that's not for me. Oh. I uh, see we're off to another great start, huh? Damn, don't be so sensitive. All I meant was that the, you know, you already gave us our engagement ring, and that was the best thing. And that, uh, you know, if I wasn't clear on how much that meant to me, then that's a bigger issue that I have to set straight. What? Uh, the, uh, the car is here. Take it away. I'll go tell him. No, no. You don't carry out messages, remember? For a few more days, I do. A few days? Wow. That's it? Come here, sit down. <sighs> what do you think? It's nice. <laughs> you gotta learn to lie, Jason, or at least find a better word for stuff that you don't care about the nice. Did Mike, Mike give it to you? Yeah, for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, all the family holidays. You know, my, my, my grandparents had a platter like, like this. They never liked Mike. Even before he walked out of my mother and me, we used to go to their apartment for dinner and they'd only speak Spanish. My grand, my grandfather would say that I looked just like my uncle Felipe, who was killed by the communists. And then every single time he and Mike would fight. Every, I mean, I, it, it happened every time, right? It got a little easier after uh, he left. You know, he, he never said goodbye. Not the first time, or any times after that. He just disappeared, and I hated him for that. Because I felt that it meant he didn't care about me. So when he showed up here, I tried to push him away because I wasn't going to wake up in the morning, find him gone and hurt. I had done all the hurting I was going to do for him. But he stuck it out. He didn't leave. And now I am. And now I know to 
25 years later. Mike never said goodbye because he couldn't. There are some things that are just too hard to say. And you just don't. My, Mike's gonna come to you when I'm gonna make sure he knows that I'm not doing it this way because I didn't trust him. It's just the way it has to happen. All right. And do me a favor, take care of him. I know he's blown every business he's ever tried, but if the bar's in trouble, give him a loan or take care of the competition, whatever. And one more thing. I know he's a pain, but if he gives you advice, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to follow, but at least listen. Hey, you know, sometimes he, he says things that that's worth listening to. I know he does. And Luke, too, he's going to want to help out, but uh, don't let him. He's got a family and kids, and that means the business doesn't touch him. You run my share of the club just the way I did, totally separate. I will. I mean, I'm, Luke, he knows a lot, but you got to understand that he's a cowboy. Nine times out of ten, he's going to push you to do things when you're not ready, and he's going to want you to act alone, which you cannot do, because you run things, which means... Clean hands. I understand. You, you, you better, because that's the difference between staying on top and going to prison. If you're in charge, that means you do things in a business manner. And a businessman delegates. Claude, so I'm sorry. Could you give us a second? <clears throat> you never pull the trigger yourself. If somebody dies, you make sure you're in a restaurant with 15 people that can swear you were there. Every time I killed, it was because I screwed up. Violence is stupid, and it's sloppy. It's like putting your problems out there for the world to see and having the cops and everybody else solve it. No matter how hard you try, there's always, you know, a chance of a witness or evidence. You never walk away clean. What if there's no choice? You better be sure. And then you hit him or whoever it is so hard they can't hit back. Did you call Valentine? Mm -hmm. Everything will be ready by tomorrow. All right. You know, the power of attorney for the club and the penthouse is fine, but I want you to take back your EOQ stock. No. It's your inheritance. No, I will never take anything from them. It's happening like we said. I have power of attorney over the stock for the next 10 years. If you don't come back, it reverts to Robin as your designated heir. What, what was Robin going to do with uh, 60 million no, plus? Give it to charity. The old man would love that. Yeah, well, if he, if he knows he, he can get rid of you. I love, I tell you, I, I love to see Edward's face when you show up with my property. I'll just say you cheated me again. Maybe I did. No, you didn't. Look, you took something that I didn't want. You used the quarter mains the same way they use everyone else. I'd say I got my money's worth. Damn, you're cold. I can be. Well, that's good. It'll keep you alive. <laughs> Pizza out front. You still need the car? It can wait. I'll tell him. Joe, hold on, hold on. Um, while I'm out of town, Jason's in charge. I don't want any problems, you understand? So that's why I'm saying this in front of him. I want you to follow Jason just like you follow me. That's what you want. It's done. You protect him just like you do me. No problem. Good. All right, I'm going to take off and 
Thumbs up. It's all yours. I'll take care of you. I know. There's a lot you don't understand. Oh, I know that. Believe me, I go through every day looking around at things that I don't understand. But there are some things I do get. You're one of them. I trust you. You teach me. I'm sorry to frighten you. I love you. You'll never forget that, right? Sonny, I've had a handful of friends in my life. You're one of the best. I don't want to lose you. It's not going to happen, man. Wherever I go, you know. 